Well, happening right now, places like UConn and Yale are wondering how to make up a chunk of funding recently slashed by the federal government. Your reporter Marcy Jones live in Farmington right at UConn Health. So Marcy, what's the mission of the cuts here and how are these universities reacting? Good morning, Kate and Tracy. Well, one side said funds will definitely be better spent going directly to scientific research rather than administrative costs. However, now places like UConn and Yale are wondering, one, where they're going to come up with this money, and two, what the potential impacts will be if they can't. Now, the move by the National Health Institute is going to significantly reduce reimbursements for indirect research costs to just 15 percent. For context, places like UConn previously were reimbursed up to 60 percent. That money typically goes to overhead costs like lab space, infrastructure, utilities, and support staff. The worry is without it, it could negatively impact their competitive edge in the medical and scientific fields. While this goes into effect today, many universities are hoping the policy will be amended by Congress or a judicial review. Back out here live, coming up, we're going to be talking about how UConn is responding to this move and what they're hoping will happen. Your reporter in Farmington, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right. Thanks, Morris. 550.